fringe and as it would be a cardigan. Do you like it? So it's very nice, I think, because normally this kind of cardigan ponchos are very wide. I did uh, a change during my working so that my cardigan poncho is not so wide as normally it should be. Okay? So I will give you the instruction to do it in in any size and uh, of course you can use a wool yarn worsted weight yarn or if you like it for summer or spring you can use a cotton okay so let's get started for this project i'm using six hundreds of this yarn totally two hundred grams of this one and 400 grams of this one um, this is from ice yarns i will put the link of the site in the information box below this is the composition and this is the composition of this one very nice yarn very soft To be worked mainly with G hook for millimeters, only on the sleeves I will use also E crochet hook 3.5 millimeters. Foundation chain of 89 with crochet hook of 4 millimeters. If you are working with another size of um, crochet hook, please consider that this is a multiple of 4 plus 1. But since we are working with a corner, what you add on one side, you have to add also on the other side. So in any case, you should add 8 stitches if you are at least if you are working with a smaller hook okay in my case 89 chains now additional chain two to start yarn over insert your hook in the fourth chain from the hook and do one double crochet yarn over into the next stitch another double crochet we are doing the granny stitch now chain one yarn over skip one stitch into the next one double crochet one into the next one double crochet one into the next one double crochet one and then chain one so we should create 11 groups of double crochet three for each one with one chain for separation yarn over skip one stitch into the next three stitches double crochet three one, two, and three. Chain one, yarn over, skip one stitch into the next one, three double crochet into the next three stitches. one two three and four repeat till eleven these are the measures for a medium size in centimeters i did 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. A double crochet three spaces with one chain in between for separation. Now I'm ready to create into the stitch number 45 the first corner for this um, for this cardigan poncho. Chain one, yarn over, skip one chain into the next one, which is the number 45. Insert your hook and do two double crochet. One and two. Now chain two, yarn over, insert your hook again into the same chain and do double crochet, do another time. One and two. Like that. And this is your corner. Now repeat. Chain one, yarn over, skip one stitch into the next three stitches, double crochet three. And now repeat what exactly you did on the other side, that is 11 double crochet three spaces with chain one in between. This is the pattern for the first three rows. Finish this row with double crochet three into the last three chains. Ready for row number two. From here, chain two, one and two. Turn your work yarn over and insert your hook into the same very first stitch from where you did the two chains and do one double crochet like that chain one yarn over go into the next chain one space and do three double crochet one two and three chain one and now repeat always the same pattern in each chain one space three double crochet one two and three chain one and repeat in each chain one space one, two, and three, chain one. Keep working like that till you reach the corner. Okay, we are close to the corner. I did, sorry, I did the last three double crochet square, you see, now chain one, yarn over, insert your hook into the center of the corner below the two chains space and do a new corner for this row. So two double crochet, one and two chain two one and two and two double crochet again into the corner center like that now from here chain one yarn over into the next chain one space and in each one of the next ones do three double crochet chain one one two and three 
chain one and repeat till you get the end of this second row. Finish this row with chain one, yarn over and two double crochet into the last double crochet of um, the previous row, which is one and two chains, so into the second starting chain, one and two double crochet, like that. Next row, chain two and turn, yarn over, do one double crochet into the very first stitch like that. So you know that we will start every new row with two double crochet into the very first stitch. Chain one, yarn over, now into the immediately next chain one space, three double crochet, chain one. One, two, three, chain one, yarn over and repeat into the next chain one space. One, two, three, double crochet, chain one, till you reach the corner. When you reach uh, the corner of course you have to repeat a new corner into the previous one chain one and inserting your hook into the center of the corner below you're gonna repeat a new one double crochet two chain two double crochet two again Then chain one and in each chain one space repeat three double crochet chain one chain one okay now I explain you everything about this granny stitch and you can keep working by yourself uh, for a certain numbers, number of uh, rows, then uh, we will change a stitch. The important thing you have to remember is that at uh, the beginning, at the end of each row, you always have to do two double crochet into the first and the last stitch of each row. Remember, you start with two double crochet and you finished with two double crochet. Okay, we should keep working with the granny stitch pattern till row number nine. At round 10 we are going to change the stitch. I will show you of course with a lighter co color so that it's uh, more visible and so at round 10 we have to start with so ready for row number 10 chain one and turn yarn over, double crochet one into the very first stitch, chain one, yarn over, skip one stitch into the next one, the chain one space, do one double crochet, chain one, now 
Now you always have to repeat the same. One double crochet, chain one, skip one stitch, one double crochet, chain one and so on. So skip the next stitch into the next one, double crochet one, chain one. Yarn over, skip one stitch into the next one, double crochet one, chain one. And so on till you get the corner on the top. And I will show you, of course, how to work in it. So when I get to the top of my, um, my uh, cardigan, you see I have to do chain one, yarn over, skip one stitch into the next one, double crochet one. Now I have the chain two space corresponding to the center of the corner below. Into this space I'm gonna repeat a new corner. So double crochet two, chain two, double crochet two again, one and two then into the next stitch another double crochet so that i'm doing the same i did before the corner chain one yarn over skip one stitch into the next one double crochet one chain one and so on now keep working with the same stitch pattern double crochet one chain one till you get the end of this row Finish this row, uh, never mind for the color change because I am at the same stage of the gray one, okay? We finish with one double crochet into the last chain one space, then chain one, yarn over, skip the double crochet below and into the last stitch two double crochet one and two like that ready for the next row chain two and turn double crochet one into the same very first stitch like that as usual and now you have to do one double crochet in each stitch across the row including all the chains so into the next stitch one double crochet yarn over now i have the chain one space enter and do one double crochet now one double crochet into the double crochet below now one double crochet into the chain one space and so on till the top of our cardigan like that when we are close to the corner we have to work of course our double crochet into the two double crochet of the corner below like that then into the center of the corner we have to create a new one so double crochet two chain two double crochet two again after that Keep working doing one double crochet in each one 
of the stitches below including of course the chains Finish this row with two double crochet into the last stitch one and two like that. Next row chain two and turn one double crochet into the very first same stitch like that now chain one yarn over skip one stitch into the next one double crochet one chain one skip one stitch into the next one double crochet one chain one skip one stitch into the next one double crochet one Keep working like that till you get the top of your cardigan. Continue working with the same stitch, one row net stitch, one row solid double crochet, one row net stitch, one row solid double crochet till row number 19. By next row we come back to granny stitch. So you just have to take the end of row number 19 like that. Look at me. Next row we're gonna change the stitch, chain 2 and turn, do one double crochet into the same very first stitch, like that. Yarn over again into the next stitch, double crochet 1. So we have the first cluster of 3 double crochet at the beginning of this row. Chain 1 yarn over skip the next stitch and now into the next three stitches after skipping one you're gonna do three double crochet one two three chain one yarn over and repeat till you reach the top skip one stitch into the next one the first double crochet into the next one the second into the next one the third one when you are close to the to the th top the last three double crochet chain one yarn over skip the last stitch and into the center do a new corner double crochet two chain two double crochet two chain one yarn over skip one stitch into the next three stitches one two three double crochet and now keep working like that finish this row with chain one yarn over skip one stitch into the next one double crochet one and now into the last one two double crochet one and two into the same stitch like that next row chain two and turn one double crochet into the very first stitch like that chain one yarn over go into the next chain one space below and do one cluster 
of three double crochet. One, two, three. Into the same chain one space. Chain one. Yarn over. Into the next space. Repeat. Three double crochet. Chain one. You see that when we reach the corner into the last chain one space I did my cluster of double crochet three chain one and then into the center of the corner below a new corner okay now I have to finish my row exactly in the same way, way uh, I started the row so after the last cluster of double crochet three chain one yarn over and into the last stitch two double crochet every time you are not so sure how you have to finish a row important thing so that you don't do mistakes is to watch at the starting point you see uh, how you started is, of course, how you have to finish. Okay, I worked for 22 rows and finally I have in centimeters about 31 centimeter. In inches I have about 12 inches. So if you are using a different crochet uh, hook, um, consider that you have to do so many rounds you need for reaching 31 or 12 centimeters or 12 inches. Okay, now we have to put four stitch marker to create the two arm holes. We are working, of course, like a top-down method. So we have, in my case, I have uh, 24 clusters of double crochet at one side and 24 totally at the other side. Okay, so I have to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clusters and put a stitch marker into the chain one space. Okay, and then I have left one, two, three, four, five, six clusters for the, the armhole. Okay, the same on the other side and also on the back you have to do the same now we are going to work starting from here we will work on these seven clusters then we will do a certain number of chains to join with the other stitch marker and we will continue working on the back then we will do the same here other chains to join the back with the front and finish working on the other eight clusters here okay so we have you see on the front 12 clusters and 12 on the back you should put the stitch marker after the half plus one okay for the body and you leave the half less uh, less one for the arm hole for my size which is medium i need to do uh, 22 rows Please add one more row for each additional size. So if you have a large, you will have to do 
23 rows corresponding to 32 centimeters, one centimeter more, okay? Uh, and uh, so, um, when you have to put the stitch marker, you know that you will have to put your stitch marker on the half plus one, okay? We are starting the row number 23, in my case, which is the joining row, um, and I'm going to join the two front sides with the back side and at the meantime in the meantime I'm creating the two arm holes. So chain two and turn, do a second double crochet into the same very first stitch like we did till now, chain one, yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain one space and do a cluster with three double crochet and chain one into the next space another cluster with three double crochet and continue working like that with this granny stitch till you reach the first stitch marker which is the first stitch marker on the front side and from here I will show you how to join this part with the back side. Okay, when I am close to the first stitch marker, I want to show you. You see? Now I have to do chain one and into the space with the stitch marker, the last cluster of double crochet three. Now from here, I'm ready to join this space with the other space for creating the first armhole. But I have to do in between a certain number of chains according to the size I need. In my case, I have a medium, I will do five chains, one, two, three, four and five. Please add four more chains for each additional size or four um, chains less for each smaller size, so in case of a small you will do just one chain. For a large you will do nine chains. After that you take the other space with the stitch marker on the back, yarn over, insert your hook into the space and do three double crochet. Like that. Chain one, you see I have created my armhole and now continue working doing three double crochet chain one in each chain one space. Of course when you are on the corner you have to create a new corner into the center of the one below and you should reach now the second stitch marker of the back side so that we can join this back side with the other front and create the second armhole. Okay, I worked on the back after creating the first armhole. Now I am close to the third arm, uh, stitch markers. From here, chain one into the uh, chain one space with the stitch marker, three double crochet. For my size now, chain five, three, four, five into 
the space with the last stitch marker on the second front side I'm doing three double crochet chain one and continue working till the end of this row of course you will finish with uh, two double crochet into the last stitch okay next row after joining now you keep working with your uh, granny stitch till you reach the space with the chains and I will show you how to work on these chains okay here we are I'm doing the last cluster of double crochet into the last chain one space from here chain one yarn over into the five chain space I'm doing one two sorry three double crochet chain one again into the same space three double crochet chain one and now into the next chain one space my three double crochet one two and three chain one and so on so you see that if you have five chains you're gonna do one and two cluster if you have just one chain you will do just one cluster if you have more chains you will do for example for the large size you will do one two three clusters and so on according to the size you have so you should add one more cluster you should work into this chain space one more cluster than me according to your size for each additional size I hope I've been clear okay now you should keep working till you reach mm -hmm. the next arm hole and of course you will work into it exactly the same you did for the first one okay and then you continue working the granny stitch till the end of this row okay now you should uh, go on working with the granny stitch for a certain number of rows uh, and working normally on a smaller area because you see you, we skipped uh, so many stitches we need for the arm holes but now we continue anyway working uh, like we did for uh, the collar of our um our cardigan the only difference is that now we are working on a smaller area on the body okay my friends now we are ready to start working on the body of our uh, cardigan i will show you how you have to decrease on both sides of your cardigan to have this regular shape Otherwise, if you do not decrease on both sides, you will have something like this, you see? These two sides are too up. Anyway, if you like it, if you like this shape, don't decrease on the uh, both sides as I will show you. If you like this shape, 
the most, please follow the instructions I will give you for decreasing, okay? Okay, uh, after joining, I worked totally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. And this is the shape of my cardigan after joining. This is the armhole and this is, this is the body and you see that it's growing up in this way. After eight rows, I decide to do some decreasing so that my cardigan cannot grow up anymore here on the body and will fall down like that. Okay, so you have to take the, the part here corresponding to the armhole and here exactly on the half you have to put two stitch marker corresponding to the center one and two two stitch marker into the chain one space with one cluster in the middle if you are working a larger size than mine you have to do that after one more row okay so for medium i will mark after eight rows for a large size i will mark after nine rows and so on for a small of course after seven okay of course i have to mark into the same position also on the other side under the other arm arm hole okay now we can start the new row where we start decreasing uh, exactly into the um, spaces where i put the two stitch marker on the half, left on the right of course so chain two and turn insert your hook into the very first stitch and do Continue with your regular normal double crochet for granny stitch till you reach the two stitch marker under the arm hole. Okay, I am now at the first two stitch markers. I show you how you have to decrease into these two spaces. Yanova, insert your hook into the chain one space and do a halfway double crochet. Yanova again, insert your hook into the same space and do a second halfway double crochet crochet like that three loops on your hook yarn over again insert your hook into the same space and do the third halfway double crochet four loops on your hook yarn over pull it through like that three double crochet finished together okay now from here chain one insert your hook into the next chain one space with the second stitch marker and do the same first halfway double crochet second halfway double crochet third halfway double crochet yarn over pick up the yarn pull it through like that now from here chain one into the next chain one space normally your cluster of three double crochet regular one continue till you reach 
the next corner, the top. Okay, so the second stitch markers for my decreasing, my second decreasing. So into the first space, three double crochet, finished together like that. Chain one. Into the next space, again, three double crochet, finished together like that then chain one three double crochet into the next chain one space keep working like that normally I am close now to the, my two decreases I did at previous round. Now for this round I don't have to decrease, I will do at the next row. From here chain one, insert your hook into the chain one space just before my decreasing and do three double crochet one two and three chain one skip one two decreases insert your hook into the next chain one space and do three double crochet one two and three chain one and now continue working normally till the end of this row. On the other side, of course, you will do the same. Before starting the new row, I have to put my two uh, stitch marker into the ch two chain one spaces. Uh, so that I know where I have to decrease. I'm putting the stitch markers um, into the spaces over the two decreases I did at previous round. You see the two decreases, the nearest spaces I have over there are those these ones okay so now you have to go ahead doing one row with decrease one row without decrease i would like to show you the shape is taking your cardigan doing one row with decreasing and one row with no decreasing you see you increase and then decrease increase decrease and this is the right shape i'm finishing my cardigan with 45 rows totally of course you can do so many rows you need for the length you desire now after the last row I'm ready for the final row of refining and so from the last I'm finishing starting the new row with just one double crochet and finishing with just one double crochet. From here now chain one, insert your hook into the body of your double crochet and do one single crochet into the next part second double crochet you have to do two single crochet in each uh, double crochet below and you continue like that till you reach the, the end of this edge 
and you continue working around the collar and then on the other side all the way around you will work across this edge around the collar then going down to the other edge till you stop here on the okay my friends now i would like to show you how to do a fringe like that it's very easy you should take something some paper or a book something which has the precise length uh, you desire for your fringe then you take the yarn put the yarn over your shape like that wrap around one two three four four times now you have to cut here the yarn like that Pick up the yarn like that, put into the center your finger and down there you have to cut and form a fringe like that. Now you should take a very big crochet hook, insert your hook into the hole you want to put the fringe on pick up the fringe like that pull it through this way now pass the yarn through the loop like that like a chain and your fringe is done like that we are ready now to work for the sleeve using at the beginning a four millimeters crochet hook then we will use the 3.5 we are ready now to start working for the sleeve uh, so we are starting from this armhole down there insert your hook take the new yarn new yarn slip knot to start like that insert your hook here down there you see you have one and two square into the middle insert your hook like that pick up the yarn pull it through and slip stitch like that now from here chain three one two and three into the same space two double crochet one and two now from here chain one insert your hook into the next space below like that and do three double crochet one two and three chain one now go into the next space and do three double crochet chain one into the next space double crochet three okay so i think it's clear now that you should repeat the granny stitch all the way around this arm opening 
and when you are here at the end of this round of course you will do one single crochet and slip stitch to join into the first stitch of this round totally I did 16 clusters of double crochet 3 when I did the last one chain 1 and slip stitch to join into the chain number 3 you did at the beginning of this round now slip stitch into the next stitch and then again into the next one to start a new round chain 3 which take the place of the first double crochet and into this chain one space do one and two double crochet chain one into the next space again three double crochet and so on till the end of this round you should work like that with your granny stitch till row number three at row number four we have to do a little change at row number four we have the first stitch change after finishing and slip stitching going to the next stitch slip stitch going to the chain one space and slip stitch now from here chain three yarn over insert your hook into the same space and do just one double crochet instead of two chain one and now go into the next chain one space and do two double crochet instead of three chain one into the next space double crochet two now you have to work in every chain one space two double crochet chain one and you should do that till round number 19 at round 20 we will do the second stitch change okay from round number 20 you go on repeating the granny stitch with two double crochet but using the 3.5 millimeters crochet hook i did totally 27 rounds if you have longer arms of course you can do uh, so many rounds you need